you are entitled to. Okay. All right. So show me the money. And yes, from the universe. You got a yes card from the universe. Um, the universe says yes. You said, I want this, that, and the other thing. I want A through Z. And you felt a little guilty for wanting it. But don't feel guilty, Pisces. You deserve it. You deserve it. You're getting your second and third and fourth chances. And somebody just said seven. So maybe seven is a, an eight. Okay. I know my sister is born on the 8th of March. So maybe that one was for her. But she doesn't watch me. So anyhow. Um, yeah. So seven and eight might be important for people out there. Yeah, getting a seventh chance. Yeah, when, when I thought about love, and I was doing some of the love cards, I don't have them with me, but I have what I'm going to tell you in my mind is there's a past relationship or a relationship you're in now. One of them is toxic. One of them you kind of need to let go of, but another one is coming back from the past. Like you can't get them off your mind and they can't get you off their mind. Um, you have to decide what to do with that. In the first part of the Pisces reading, I talked more about that. Um, so go back and look if you care. All right. Um, so uh, in terms of love, there's also a new person, like a, a brand new relationship, but it scares a lot of you Pisces. Like a lot of you Pisces, like when I say a lot of you Pisces, I hope you don't think, you know, like how rude, but I don't know how else to say it. A lot of Pisces, a lot of Pisceans, okay, Pycheans, a lot of fish, all right, both male and female are more comfortable with an old relationship because you felt that passion and you knew you were in love and there was a little piece of the dream in the relationship are more comfortable going back to something that didn't work because you feel more comfortable and don't want to start anew. Okay. But the guides are telling me, tell them we're sending them the new person. So please look at the new person because we want them with the new person. Is that a rat or a cat? Okay. It's a cat. All right. Whew. No, this is a nice neighborhood over here. So, you know, but there's a lot of cats. So I would hope, you know, I'm not in New York anymore. So there can't be, it was this big. So that can't be a rat. Well, can it? No, no, I'm in Texas. It's just that it's been so cold here. It feels like New York. I have to start wearing a, my heavier coat. This is not heavy enough. Anyway, I'm sitting in the car with the heat on. So can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? This is my sexy voice. Did I just creep you out? Because I creeped myself out. All right, let's get busy. So spirit guides want you to look at the new person that's put in your direction. Even if you don't have feelings initially, even if you, do, but you have something in common. It could be music. It could be a job. It could be um, something creative. It could be something that you both like enjoy doing and you might be like oh they're just my friend but that's how i was with devon we were just friends we were just you know um both teachers we didn't work together we knew each other through a mutual friend mike ronaldson um shout out uh anyhow um and then something can change somebody that is your friend for some of you Pisces out there, that relationship can develop into something else, okay? But you have to deal with, oh yeah, no, no, they don't want that. Okay, all right. They just showed me somebody is living together, a Piscean, could be male, could be female. They're living with an ex-spouse. Unless you're getting back with that ex-spouse to actually sleep in the same bed sometimes or uh, be partners and re-get ma re get married. Um, they're saying, they're going like this. They actually showed that a thumbs down in my head. So what they, they're trying to show you, they can't 
get the new person in your life if you're still cohabitating. They just put, I never use that word. I don't use that word. I don't even think I know that word. All right. I understand the word because I'm not a dummy, fully a dummy. But I mean, I have a master's of English over here. So if you're living together with somebody and you might say, well, I live in one room and they live in another. There's another cat. The first cat was gray. Now there's an orange tabby. Okay. Anyhow, you might say it doesn't matter because we live in one room. And I live in and my bedrooms on the other side of the house and we don't have the money, you know, the kids or whatever. We don't have the money to get a divorce or to move into our own places. That's BS. Okay. You know why you should be actively saving money. And if you live in the same house and you're not together and you're not planning on fixing to get together. See, I'm getting Texas lingo. If you're not fixing to get back together, then you have to put a period on the end of that sentence because the guides, spirit guides and angels want to send you somebody that's more suited for you. But you can't have them in your house. You can't have them in your apartment if you're cohabitating with your ex. Okay. That's for somebody or several people, <laughs> several Pisceans. Okay. And then there's the hermit Pisces. Then I'm seeing a hermit, much like my brother. Okay. Um, they want you to get an animal. And if you already have an animal and, and they died or they passed away or they just want you to get another one. They want, if you like, say you have one cat, they want you to get more cats get two cats maybe that's why they're showing me cats over here and that i thought it was a rat if you have a dog and there's somebody out there that their dog passed away and you're like i don't want my heart to break again so i'm not going to get another animal therefore i can keep my heart in a glass case no it doesn't work that way if you get another pet that pet will take your mind off the grief of losing uh, the other pet, the new pet will not be the other pet. Okay. Very rarely is, is that, that pet, the same energy. Like Cleo was my mother. God gave me that gift of having Cleo because I missed my mother so darn much. And of course I still miss her. But losing Cleo was like losing my mother all over again. I know it sounds crazy. But so we got the puppy, we got um, the English, old English bulldog, Casper, Casper spirit. Um, but the problem is he wasn't my mother's spirit. He wasn't. And then I thought maybe he was my father's spirit. OK, you know, maybe this is Mr. Brady. Um, he's not. He's not. So but does he help me? Did he help me? Because we got him one month one month and a couple of days after we lost Cleo. And I never thought I would get another dog, but we started to see Nana being really sad. And even though she hate, hates, hate, didn't hate Cleo, but she just likes all the attention, she was really like depressed because she we used to have another dog, Meadow, that she was really close with. And now, so we went from three dogs to just one. And she was, really depressed. And I was like, Oh my gosh, this isn't good. So me and Devin went looking, searching for a bulldog, couldn't find anybody that had anything in our town. So then we found somebody that had, um, old English bulldogs and he's nothing like Cleo, but you know what? He's my heart. He's, he's a pain in the neck at times, but he keeps me busy, he keeps my mind off of you know, the sadness of Cleo and Cleo lived a long life. Bulldogs, English bulldogs, um, don't usually lived 14 and, you know, she lived an incredible life. Um, anyhow, so please Pisces, if you're out there and you're being a hermit, please stop being a hermit, start to go out more. And, um, for God's sake, bring an animal into your apartment, into your house, into your home and see the magic that happens. You're not meant, we're not meant to be alone. Can you hear me? That UPS truck went mad close to me, almost knocked off my, went, 
Oh my gosh, she's driving like this. Maybe the UPS person is drunk. She's driving crazily. Anyhow, okay, sorry to digress. I really have to get, I'm gonna get in trouble. Okay, only kidding, maybe. Okay, so impatient, yes. So you're impatient. Um, Ace of Wands energy is coming in, divine timing. It's not your timing, Pisces, when everything is supposed to pop off. It's divine timing. But just you could take the step slowly. Um, go after things with confidence and stay focused. Keep that confidence that you had circa in the beginning of January. Then you, f you fall off. Then you get back. Then you fall off again. That's all right. That's very Piscean. Piscean. Okay, I made up a new word. Maybe I didn't. Okay. The fact is that keep on journaling. Keep on looking at your dreams in the book that you wrote. That you, you know, keep on going after something that you want. Your bucket list. Okay. Um, go after it with confidence and stay focused. Don't let the little things discourage you. Um, divine timing, magician the magician card came in. That means you will manifest what you need. Um, the only thing that is re okay, I said that a million times. Um, shift your focus on and manifest love. If it's love or friendship that you want, you have to manifest it. You have to, if you want a, a love partner or a friendship, you have to be a friend first. You have to put out that energy. And don't always expect it to come back exactly what you put out because everybody comes in all different shapes and all different sizes and all different demons that they're fighting with and all different uh, um, personalities. Um, but if you that's what you're praying for, like say you're at work and you're like, oh, I'm not jiving with anybody. I wish I had somebody to talk to that I could talk to about the other people that we work with. And so you, that's what you have to pray for. Please, dear God and spirit guides, please, um, guardian angels, send me, you know, a friend that I could be with at work. Um, also known as work wife or work husband or just even a work friend. Um, please, spirit guides, uh, somebody's gardening or wants to garden. I see somebody with big gardening hat, uh, shears in their hand. And because they have a hat on doesn't mean that they are female because I see somebody. Oh, 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 yeah, this is important. Watch your skin. I got two messages. All right. Watch your skin, melanoma, uh, a, a weird mole, get it checked out. Um, something that gets caught on something and just, it'll be fine. It'll be okay. But watch your skin. That's why I'm seeing a man with this big floppy hat on because, and make sure you're wearing sunglasses outside. Like we want you to get the vitamin D and outside work is okay working with the earth will ground you, will ground your water sign energy. But um, the, they were telling me when I was writing this at first, um, health-wise was pretty good, except a little bit like some bursts of emotions, some tears, but that's all the water signs are like that, except Scorpio keeps it in, um, doesn't like to show that side, but Pisces will do it. Um, but the skin, they want you that they, they show me the, the head chakra, head chakra. Um, so spiritual awakening, let that happen. Make believe it's when you were your favorite age. What is it? Pisces, what was your favorite age? Did you say it? Okay. Favorite age as a child. Okay. I'm going to say seven for me between seven and eight. When I was seven years old, I was walking down the street and I said, I basically don't even have to go to school anymore because I know what the world is about. I know what everything is. I don't know. It was the weirdest thing. I think that's when I st first started getting spirit started talking to me, but I didn't know who I was talking to at first. Um, but I knew that I knew everything about the world. And I, I know that sounds crazy for a seven year old. Um, but I basically did. I felt like it. 
relationships, love, friendships. I just felt like I knew it all at that age. So I'm going to say seven for me. Now, what age is your favorite teenage year? Okay, you got it? Okay. What age is your favorite age? Now, some of you might not be. My biggest audience is over 60. Okay. <laughs> um, woo -woo. But um, I have some 20-year-olds. I have some 18 to 20-somethings. Um, love you, millennials. Uh, but millennials actually reach into the 30s. Um, anyhow, what's your favorite age in the 20s? Just pick one. I picked 22. 21 going on to 22. No, 22. Okay. Anyhow, what, what do you do with that? Write down in your book, what were you doing during those ages and what made it so great? It might have been some crazy times happening, but why were you so confident? The guides want you to go back to that, those ages because they want that renewed confidence. Was it because you were surrounded by friends? Was it because you had a, a, your dance card was all filled up? That's a very old fashioned term. But was it because you were socializing? Most likely, yes. Uh, yes and yes. Was it because you were starting your career? Well, not when you were a little kid. Um, when you were a little kid, the age that you like the best, even though it might have been traumatic, something traumatic happening right before something, some kind of tra trauma happened, sometimes the angels, usually the angels, will give you a sign to get you strong so that you can live through it. And that's how we're here today. Anyway, go back to the time that you were the most confident and try to be that, have that confidence again. If you had it before, you can have it again, okay? So go after the things with the confidence and stay focused. Um, being in the spotlight. Some of you Pisces out there are going to be in the spotlight and you're going to be a famous celebrity, okay? No joke. That's what came out. Um, put the energy in for love. Uh, put the energy for love. Yeah, you have to put in the energy for friendship and love. Okay. It, it just doesn't come without working on it. Triumph. You will have triumph um, in the area of love and also career. Uh, you're going to be a goddamn celebrity if you want. If you, if you don't become, stay a hermit. Um, everything is working out for your highest good. Oh yeah. I see somebody getting like, somebody is thinking back when they were in high school or whenever and they got like an actual award, uh, that feeling, they want you to feel that feeling again because that when you have that feeling, then you can try to attain that again or at least um, try to go after some of the goals that you did not complete um, because you got depressed or you had a breakup or something happened with your kid or you didn't have a kid or... Um, one of your parents died or both of your parents died. Check, please. Um, so we stop and start times of our life and going, moving towards our goals because we get depressed, we get down. And then we, we were like, oh, I'm not going to even wish for that anymore. I was stupid to wish for that because I'm never going to attain that. And I don't even want that anymore. And if you don't want something anymore, that's all right, too. That's all right, too. But what the guides are are telling me to tell you. When I say the guides, I mean divine. I mean God. I mean the guardian angels that are after you. All, all in one. People who have died are in heaven are looking after you and they're saying, we want this for Pisces. So when I meditate, that's why I write it down. What they want for you is to still, you're not dead, okay? They want you to still go after love. They want you to still go after that White picket fence. They just showed me white picket fence. Okay. Because um, a lot of people give up on their dreams when something disastrous happens or it just didn't come in your time frame. 
um, God will make it happen, but you have to still move towards it, okay? You're not going to find the love of your life if you're just sitting on your couch. Now, some people will tell me, oh, but what about people who found the love of their life on internet? Well, you eventually have to meet that person, don't you? Have you watched 90 Day Fiance? Okay? <laughs> you have to meet that person. You have to go and make, you know, see them in, in front of you. Okay? To see if you actually have the chemistry in front of each other. Okay? And you have to hug them and kiss them and hold their hand and see if you could stand them. Okay? And if you want more hugging and kissing. If you don't, then you don't have chemistry. Okay? Simple as that. All right? If you really feel like you can't live without them and hearing the sound of their voice, then that means you need to explore that relationship. Okay? So, but you can't get all of that if you just put up bars and just uh, stay by yourself or stay in a relationship that isn't working um, just because you feel like you had to make this prison for yourself. You make that, we make the prisons for ourselves. God doesn't do it. Like a lot of people say, why would God do this to me? Why would God hate me so much? No, God is the opposite of hate. Okay, so we make our own prisons. We make our own jail time. All right, so everything is working out for the, our highest good. And you have to remember that. Put the energy in for love, your talents and abilities. You're strong and invincible. Yes, um, they, the guides get sad when you don't use your talents that, because they're gifts from God. So if you're a painter, you should be painting. If you're a, um, a singer, you should be practicing. Uh, if you just love music, you just friggin love to go to concerts and you just feel alive when you do anything with music, you should have your friggin uh, record player like I brought to the motel last week. You should have um, music going on all the time because it'll help you in every sense of the word of your chakras being aligned. It'll help you with illnesses. It'll help you relive a time that was happy for you, okay? Um, everything is working out for your highest good. Let's say that. Everything is working out for my highest good. Everything is working out for my highest good. All is well. I am manifesting my world. I am manifesting loving relationships. I am manifesting a successful career. I am manifesting using, utilizing my gifts and talents from God. It comes easy for me. It comes naturally for me. I have, if I have a problem, I solve it peacefully. People love me. People want to help me. People want to hang out with me. Okay? All that positive thought. Feel it. Say it. Even if you don't believe it at first, say it and try to absorb it. And remember a time when you were surrounded by friends and family or just co-workers or just a good friend, a good best friend that you had friggin fun with okay and they believed in you and you bounced off ideas okay talents abilities you're strong and invincible i said that i said it okay sexual okay this is done page one okay <laughs> And I know Libra. I didn't forget about you, Libra. I'm looking at a piece of paper that says Libra. Oh, I might be done after this. Yeah, I think this is Libra. Is that Libra? Let's see, I wrote in pen. I wrote in pen. And then I wrote in marker. See? So I can't read it. So I'm not sure if this is for Pisces or Libra. It doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't matter. All right, so Pisces, two choices. One sees the potential 
and the other one wants commitment. Remember I told you? Pisces, what's up? That's what it says. Pisces, what's up? Okay. Um, one person, there's potential in a relationship. The other person wants a commitment. They want a doggone commitment. Okay. Which one do you want? All right. Um, you're taking your life slow and that's good. Your love life. You're taking your, this is for the singles out there and also people in a relationship. Um, you're taking your love life slow. I think that's for the single ones out there. Um, it's positive. It's, there's a positive work career going on right now and you're liking that vibe and you don't want to mess it up with like relationship stuff. Um, and that's good. Be careful. The, there's a few Pisces out there that, um, will want to get involved or somebody wants to get involved with you, like date you from your job. Now, I don't know if that's illegal, if you have to go to HR and get permission. Um, so just keep it very platonic. You could be friends and this way you could slowly get to know them. All right. Um, I just don't want your work career to be messed up with anything that like a bad relationship or one night stand or something like that. And then it slips into the work life, into your career life. So that's for a few people out there. And I got to put the heat back on because now I'm getting freezing. Okay. So that's for a few people out there. So just stay friends, stay platonic, you know, keep it in your pants. All right. Keep your legs closed. Don't be like this. Be like this. Let's go out, go out to the club, go out dancing, go out drinking, but be careful. Make sure you go home with the girlfriend, go with the girl, go in Uber. Um, so yeah, be careful what you're drinking. Um, because, you know, the, the, the fish like to swim. Okay, so do I. <laughs> All right. But um, I feel you. The fish like to swim, but you need to be protected. You always need to be with a girlfriend or a guy friend. Uh, if you're a guy, Piscean. Um, yeah. So just be careful because once think water is flowing, alcohol is flowing, drinks are flowing, you feel real good. And that's okay to feel good, but we don't want to make any mistakes where we jump into anything, okay? So we've all been there, right? Have I though? <laughs> okay, so long journey. Um, there's long journey work or business bouncing back. Okay. Yeah. And I also saw somebody planning a trip, Pisces, uh, planning a trip, not for now, not for the winter, of course, more like, uh, I was going to say May and June, but it could be any time, but it's after the winter. It could be spring, could be summer. Um, I didn't think fall. Oh, I didn't think fall. But, um, a long journey of work. There's some Pisces that are retiring. Um, but there's a bouncing back of business. So if you had a side hustle, a side business, that's coming into play very much. And you can hone it. You can create it and carve it and mold it to the way you want it. There's struggles with recognition. Yeah. Some Pisces feel like, oh, you know, I never get recognized for that project that I worked so hard on. But the other guy or the other girl, they always get recognized for all of my work. Um, don't worry. The angels see what you do. Don't worry about credit because God sees exactly what you're doing. Just be above it. Be above the tide. And I know you could do it. And you will get the credit that you deserve. Um, it just is not in your timing. It's not in the time frame that you want. And I struggle with this too. It's a time frame of divine, uh, of God's time frame. Um, so somebody from your past, they want commitment, but they hurt you terribly. It was a horrible betrayal. That's for some people. Uh, they weren't the one for you. You can forgive them for what they have done, but keep it moving. That's what they said. Kenny Rogers song. Oh, no one to fold. 
I'm like, Kenny Rogers song? Why did I write that down? So know when to fold. You got to know when to fold. Know when to fold. Know when to hide. Know when to hide. You got to hide. Uh, I don't know any of the words to the Kenny Rogers song. Just know when to fold. Know when to fold. They told me, Kenny Rogers, know when to fold. Okay. They weren't the one healing um, that needs to be healing from a male figure. Uh, it could be your father. Um, and also anger at a mother. But it could just be because the mother died. And so the, the mother's spirit is always around you. The father's spirit, um, there's something that needs to be forgiven if you can. Um, and it's saying your father is your spirit guide. So if you say their name three times and then you say, what is your message to me? What, can you help me with this? Daddy, can you help me with this? Even if you're mad at them or you're angry, something happened. I think there's a car behind me. Oh shit. What I don't like is they creepily See, there's a car right there, and they creepily... Well, maybe he lives there. Let's hope. Let's hope they live there. Okay. I don't live here, so I could probably get home. All right, let me just finish this. Okay, so the, pray to your male... Pray to your father. But uh, And they just told me it could be a grandfather. But pray to your father and ask them what you need to know in this life, in the physical world and ask them for protection. They're already protecting you. They're always around you. Um, that could resonate for some people out there. Um, and you know, if my reading doesn't resonate for every Piscean out there, uh, don't kill me, because it's for free. Um, but sometimes you might not be the sign, you might not be Pisces, and you might be like, hey, Katrina was talking to me. Mr. Grady was talking to me and I'm a Capricorn or uh, I'm a Leo. Uh, no, you know, I could be talking to you, all right? You hear this, whenever you hear this message, it could be when you need to hear it, when God wanted you to watch me, okay? Um, so there's like little crumbs for everybody. So there's a, f a figure of them Figure them to and celebrate your new power. Oh, that was when the Emperor card came. So the Emperor card came, but I, ha I felt like half of it was for your father figure or your grandfather or your father who's a spirit guide of yours. Whether you forgave them or not, whether you um, want to talk to them or not, you, sh you should talk to them because they are protecting you and they're trying to get, put little memories 